How's it going guys and welcome back to another episode of Life Made Easy and today guys uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, short talk about Apple versus Android in uh, mid 2019 just kind of get a quick update on what I think is going on between the two um, phone companies or I'm sorry phone, phone uh, operating systems uh, when it comes to like Apple hardware, Apple software, Android hardware and Android uh, software. So before I uh, begin discussing that, you guys did an amazing job leaving likes on the previous video. I'm pretty sure I have like close to 60 uh, likes on that video. If you guys didn't check that out, go check it out, previous video. Uh, so I will be grabbing a capture card. I found an Elgato uh, for a reasonable price on Mercari. Um, that's a good shopping app, by the way. Uh, so yeah, taking care of that. Um, I'm probably going to upload this to my podcast as well on Anchor. You can find me on Anchor, uh, Life Made Easy podcast, links below. So guys, go check that out because uh, I usually upload some discussions that I do on my YouTube uh, onto Anchor for you guys to listen to my podcast. If you guys are interested in listening to podcasts in your car rides or at home or just to relax or something. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So on screen, I got a two tabs open on eBay. Uh, this is comparing prices between a Android uh, flagship device, the Samsung Galaxy S9, that came out uh, early 2018, and then iPhone 8, which came out in late 2017. So these came out pretty close to one another, so I think it's fair to compare them. Uh, I see a lot of YouTube videos comparing these two devices. I know there's a gazillion other Android devices out here, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to keep it simple for you guys and just discuss these two products because they're... Uh, very different and they're very similar in different ways. So um, I have a list here of just topics I want to discuss when it comes to this. So the first one on my list is pricing. Uh, you can, These prices actually are very similar. As you can see here, we got $328.99, brand new, $430. Refurbished, $309, open box, three. So we're looking three to 400 bucks for an iPhone 8. Um, depends what kind of condition you want it, obviously. And I think that's a really great price. Apple doesn't usually drop their prices, but for this, they actually did it, and I respect that. So, um, as we can see here, we have a Galaxy S9, which was a flagship Samsung device. And I think this was like uh, close to 800 bucks when it first came out. Now it's all the way down to 350 bucks on ebay great price you can also find this for a great price on amazon you're looking at that like for a good condition phone 300 to 400 350 to 400 if you want it really cheap and like used and stuff you can get it sub 300 but i wouldn't go that route just because you're not getting a like a well-built phone um it's probably beat up so prices are very similar for apple and android in 2019 especially for old flagship devices which i like i like how prices are going down um, I think it's ridiculous how phone companies keep charging like over $700 for smartphones and you have like the top flagship device from Apple and Samsung going for like a thousand over a thousand bucks. No one can afford that these days. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's kind of strange to me how. Uh, these prices keep dropping and the depreciation on these devices is insane after six months to a year these devices just their price can somehow drop like 50 percent up to 50 percent which is which is strange and i feel like people these days <coughs> aren't buying um smartphones as as frequent i think they're holding on to their smartphones for longer and i think smartphone companies are adapting to this by selling more mid-range devices in the four to five hundred dollar range i think they're really realizing that sales at that high price point is not benefiting their company as much they're getting less sales and less market share samsung's still the number one and i think huawei overtook apple for number two in market share when it comes to uh um uh, phone companies sorry stuttered there okay let's talk about hardware uh that was a that was brief discussion discussion on pricing hardware these guys are all making glass phones that come with wireless charging these days hardware is solid when it comes to android and apple these days At, back then it was apple dominated hardware it felt like a much more premium device androids were like plasticky finicky and they just felt cheaper but now 
it's it's equal. I'm not gonna say one's better than the other. S9 built amazing. Uh, it's got Gorilla Glass. I think five and glass on the back comes in nice colors very slim phone and very good in the hand apple same thing premium glass on the back uh, rounded corners small holding your hand easily although i will say that the eight eight plus to me i've seen in person it's kind of big for my hands um, s9 plus i think is a better fit in your hands it's more ergonomic the iPhone 8 is a little more rectangular, a little more bricky than the S9. I think that's more rounded and refined to actually hold in your hand. But that being said, both solid on the hardware side of things. Software, that's when it gets really crazy and these differ a lot. But surprisingly, the software in Android and I iOS has actually been getting more similar over time. They have more similar features. Apple's now adopting widgets and all that stuff. And I think it's good, though. I think it's good that companies are taking ideas from one another. I never want to see a company just doing its own thing and never competing with another company. It's good that they pick and choose what they want to take from other phones and implement that into their phone. Because that just helps the consumer, in my opinion. But Android, it's getting faster. S9 comes with one UI. I uh, haven't tested it myself, but I heard a lot of reviewers saying it's great for one-handed use. I'm a big fan of uh, phone companies that make that a priority. One-handed use is big. Phones are getting huge these days. Screens are getting huge, and you want to be able to use it in one hand. iPhone 8, also small, so that's great to use in one hand as well. Both these are the smaller versions of their big brothers, of the Plus models. But I have to say that software, it's clean on both. iOS, obviously, it's going to have, um, I think it's up to iOS 13 now. They're rolling out betas for iOS 13, and it seems to be better. iOS has always been wicked smooth. There's no complaints there. The one thing I do have to say, going back to hardware, is just that I wish I, uh, iPhones would bring back the headphone jack. It's just that like little feature that I look for in a phone, and it kind of sucks not having it. Less and less Android phones are doing the same thing. They copied that from Apple. So that's kind of a disappointing thing. I like using wired headphones. Um, like aux cables in the car and stuff, whatnot. It's it, it's not that I don't I use wired headphones 24/7, but it's just nice that it's there and it's annoying. It's like I rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. If that makes any sense to you guys. So software, I'm gonna say solid on both. If you want a more stable experience, I will say get an iPhone. Um, that's reasonable to say. There have been glitches with my current LG phone. I did a review, a mini review on that a couple videos ago. Um, my LG has been lagging a bunch, stuttering, and I think it's part processor and part software. LG is not very good at optimizing their software when it comes to Android. But that's a whole separate thing. But I think Samsung does a great job with their One UI software, and I think they're going to improve it over time. It's going to get closer to Apple's stabilization when it comes to software. And um, I think that's great because software is a big thing when it comes to a phone and how well you can use the software with one hand especially. So let's go into extra features. Extra features, hands down, Samsung. I can't, I can't tell you guys that iPhone has as many extra features as Samsung. It comes with like expandable storage, headphone jack. Uh, I know I'm going to forget other ones, but widgets that you can put other than one screen like Apple does. It's got a dedicated Bixby button, which Apple doesn't have. I will say that iPhone does have a dedicated mute switch, which I do like. That's something that not many Androids have. I think it's only like OnePlus that has that. <coughs> uh, let me think. What else do they have? Expandable storage. Fast charging. iPhones still do not have fast charging out of the box. I really wish they would add that. That's ridiculous how they don't have that in 2019. Um, they make you go use like a USB Type-C to lightning uh, cable with like a MacBook charger like that's stupid no one's gonna do that just get a Samsung or Google phone if you want fast charging out of the box box that's it's pretty simple like that um I mean the screens obviously are gonna be pretty equal but galaxies are slightly better and fun fact if you guys don't know that 
Samsung actually makes uh, Apple screens these days. That's why Apple screens, the OLED ones, like on the Apple 10 and 10s, are so good because Samsung makes them. Uh, fun fact. But yeah, uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff. Oh, can you invite to a party? Samsung's got a lot other. I'm sorry if I can't remember off the top of my head, but OLED screen, headphone jack, expandable storage, wireless charging, all that. Apple does have wireless charging. I don't think it's as fast, though. So that's one thing to consider. And I think the AKG headphones that come with the S9 are slightly better than the Air... Uh, those little... What are those called? Not AirPods. They're... Uh, I don't know, the ear, uh, ear, ear pods, yeah, ear pods, the wired ear pods that come with the iPhones these days. And also, they stopped giving the headphone jack adapter with the iPhones, which I don't know why. I guess they want people to, like, not use wired headphones anymore. I think they're trying to, like, kill wired headphones, which I don't want them to do. Wired headphones will always be better than Bluetooth, uh, no matter what, until, like, years down the road when Bluetooth sounds just as good. But that we have a while for that to happen. We're only on Bluetooth 5.0. I think we're going to have to wait till like blue, blue, Bluetooth 10.0 until it's as good. So that's extra features. iPhone lacks them. I mean, I can't say anything more about that. And usability, I'd say that usability is about equal, but I got to give the slight edge to iOS. Just because of how fluid it is, how easy it is to use. You have grandparents who have mostly iPhones these days because it's easy to use software. Samsung has come close their software has greatly improved when it comes to usability, ease of use, but you can't beat Apple. I have to say that. Um, I've been an Android phone my whole life, but I've got to give props to Apple for usability. Very simple to use. iMessage, FaceTime, easy to communicate with people. You're not having to make people download external apps like GroupMe or Google Duo in order to FaceTime them or have a group chat. iOS is really simple, guys, and that's basically when it comes to usability, i got to give it to Apple. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. It's just a brief discussion on iOS versus Android in 2019. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications. Um, if you're listening to this on Anchor, um, make sure to, I don't know, follow me. Uh, check back for more recent episodes. And uh, you guys can also support me on Anchor. I do have um, viewer supporter mode on or whatever. You guys can donate. So if you want to support the channel, go ahead over to Anchor. Links below and do that. Um, yeah, leave any of your thoughts down in the comments section. Uh, it's a very controversial topic, but I thought this was a very objective video. I tried to be um, less subjective since I am Android biased, but I think both phones are great. Whatever you choose is going to be great. And that's about it. Follow me on my social medias, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.